Hello and welcome to another episode of Walking Talking Gardeners and today I want to talk to you about um, propagating uh, ornamental bananas from seed but without using a heat propagator. Usually you'd have to put them in a heat propagator because you need a different daytime temperature and a different nighttime temperature. Because most banana, they'll vary slightly depending on uh, whereabouts they come from but um, most bananas will need like a day temperature of around 30, 32 degrees centigrade and then drop down at night to about a 22, 24 degrees centigrade. Now how are we going to do that without using a heated propagator on a timer? Well I'll tell you, how we're going to do it is by using the summer season. So we know that if I put this stuff into the greenhouse during the day, we're going to be anywhere between 30 and 40 degrees centigrade and then at night going to drop back down to about 20 degrees so we have a short period in the year in the UK where we can grow these germinate them without having to go to all the fat expense of uh, buying propagation equipment so to start off with I've chosen two seeds this is Musa sicamensis the um, red tiger so um, these have been soaking for about a day in warm water Shall we have a look at those seeds? No, of course, yeah. Have a look. Well, let me give them my hand. They're quite quite big, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So you can imagine in, in, in the fruit itself will be like a small regular banana. Yeah. But absolutely packed with these. Yeah, they're quite big. Because you think of a banana you get in the supermarket, they've got tiny, tiny black seeds, haven't they? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can just see the, yeah, the little embryonic seeds, but mm. they don't come to anything because it's a triploid fruit. Of course. Um, which is why it's so much bigger and yeah. does have the fruit inside. Yeah. But you try and eat these yeah. with all their seeds in, you just probably break teeth off if you're yeah. anywhere near my age. Oh, they're but great. Um, yeah, they're great. So that's so that's red tiger. That's a really great variety okay. with the the, the um, burgundy banding on green leaves. So we'll get these okay. in. Just going to use my pencil as a dibber because I'm much. I don't know. I, I don't like. I don't like dibbers. I much prefer pencils. So one in there. One in there, one in there, and the other variety I have is Musa itinerans. It's a much smaller seed. Let me show you. And this is the Burmese blue banana. Oh yeah, it's, it's about half the size, isn't it? Oh, maybe. At least, at least. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're kind of. Uh, I don't know. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. The plant's not blue with these, yeah. but the, the fruits, when they're young, the fruits have like a, a silvery blue colour to them. It's quite, quite attractive. Oh. Um, but it's from the mountains of Burma, of Burma, Burmese, and uh, which means they're quite used to the cold temperatures uh, over their sort of like winter period, which should be roughly similar to the cold temperatures that we get here mm. in the south of England uh, during the winter too. So we're going to try these and see Great. if we can get them to a winter this year in a greenhouse. So let's get Brilliant. these in. Yeah, let's get these in, get these in. So I'm only putting these about a centimetre and a half down and then closing that up. Now, other than the day and night differences in temperatures, they just need to be kept moist. So we'll water these in thoroughly. It's a bit dry with this temperature. I'll then label them because you won't recognize these when they start to germinate. Let's what these some more. Now, from here, you've got a choice. You could either go put these straight into the greenhouse and just keep an eye on them, making sure they're kept damp at all times or put them indoors on a warm uh, sunny windowsill and these you could put in direct sun. Mm -hmm. um, either case, let me just put a bit of water because I don't know if you can see what we're creating is a little reservoir of water in the yes. base here. Yeah. So this means that if you didn't have this reservoir and just had the modular seed tray then the seed tray could dry out within a day and then it stops the, um, the germination. Yeah. Of the seed. Okay. Now by keeping it damp, by keeping it hot, yeah. that will keep germination conditions uh, good. And um, 
if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you could get germination in about three to four weeks. Mm. Um, if you don't have the temperatures, then you could be looking at a month, two months. Okay. You know, even three months, it really does stretch out. Oh. So, all that remains for me to do, put the lid on to keep it moist, and then place that into either the greenhouse or the conservatory. Um, all you need to do from there is just make sure the compost doesn't dry out. And that's how you grow uh, banana seeds without a propagator in England. Thank you very much and good